All right, today I thought I would do a little video about a very nice way to render things. Okay, so firstly, what you want to do is go to the website sheepit.com, link, uh, link in the description. Okay, now what you want to do is create an account. I've already done so, um, but there should be a create an account button here. I'll let you do that now. Okay, once you've done that, uh, click get started. Select your operating system, it should be automatic, uh, or not. Now you just want to download it. I'll just save in the downloads, press save. Let it download there. Great. And open. Okay. Now chances are you're gonna get an alert like this when you try to run it. Just click more info, run anyway. It's perfectly safe, I've used it and I have not yet gotten a virus. It's gonna do this thing where it extracts for a bit and it does it every time you open and I'm not really sure why, but oh well. Yep, wait for that. Now, when you open it, it doesn't even need to install. It, it just opens like that. Just enter your username and password. I'm just gonna do that now. Awesome, and now because I'm not crazy, I'm going to go to the dark theme. Great. Now, choose your settings. I don't quite know what all of these mean. I mean, I know what these are. I don't really know what that is. But I like to set it around medium so I can actually still use my computer a little bit. And I like to check whatever graphics card you want. Yeah, it's 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 easy enough. Uh, once you are done, you just click start. Now this is just going to do a little thing. I'm just going to pause for now. When you want to exit, just press exit. Basically the way this works is you are using your machine to render other people's stuff and you're going to earn some points. And when you get enough points, you yourself can go to here, click get started. Then you can choose your blend file. And before you do this, go to Blender. Now, I've got a blend file here um, that I wanna render. Just do all your chosen render settings. Uh, I'm gonna go with um, cycles and all. Great, now press file. This is very important if you wanna keep your textures. If you've got any image textures, just do this or anyway, um, just in case you might've added one, you might've forgotten about it. Just click file, external data. Pack resources or pack data into dot blend depending on your version, or you can click uh, your uh, you can click automatically pack resources. It does the same thing. Um, once you've done that, you can go ahead and close Blender, save your changes. Great. Now, once you've closed Blender, everything's done. All your textures are packed in. You can go to the website, click get started, and click choose file. Just find the .blend file that you saved. Mine is, uh, where the heck did I save it? Probably, hang on, bear with me while I find it. <laughs> Great, I found it. Now when you find it, just double click, send this file, let it do its thing. Once it's done uploading, oh yeah, by the way, I should mention, uh, has to stay under 500 megabytes, so no giant projects, because it would probably crash their servers. Um, yeah, now what you want to do, my recommended settings are Pick one of these. I like to go with NVIDIA because, well, I mean, I personally think it's better, uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah, and I think it seems more people have NVIDIA cards, so I just choose NVIDIA. Don't choose both because you're gonna get some really weird mixed results. Like the lighting's gonna be slightly different, different technologies and some graphics cards and whatnot. Yeah, pick your Blender version. I go with Blender 3.0 because that's the one I use. Um, I always go with animation because, well, I'm rendering an animation. <laughs> yep, change all these. I always go with full frame. Unless it's a crazy big project, I wouldn't go with those, but yeah, full frame. Uh, generate MP4 video. We don't know, I don't normally do this just because it puts strain on their servers, but yeah. Advanced options, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, add this blend. Now it's just gonna, loading. Now, in this interface, you have the option to pause it when it loads. Okay, you have the option to pause it. And when you get frames, these are gonna light up as blue. Um, oh no, sorry. Yeah, so when, you, when they load and render, they will come up as blue. If they're still rendering, they should be orange. You can click a blue one and you'll be able to see it. Or you can see a preview of all the frames by clicking this. You can delete it using this. And when it's done, you'll have a download button here. You'll just download a zip file. 
you can extract that zip file and you'll have all your frames and you can just load that into Blender. But that's a whole other tutorial. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, if it didn't, I'm, I'm sorry for wasting uh, five minutes of your time um, as I check the recording now. And yeah, okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.